sit over here. <laughs> over there? Over, over there. Something that made me redefine my values is sickness. Um, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was a freshman in college, and learning to cope in the face of sickness, I think, is something that taught me a lot. Like, my grandma, she has really bad dementia, but she is like a teenager. <laughs> she wants to do her nails, and she loves taking selfies, and she loves being hip. So even in struggle, there's something beautiful. Are you spiritual? Do you like turn to faith when you're having a hard time? Yes. I remember specifically in fifth grade, we read the book, The Giver, and the front cover of the book is this man with this long, big beard. And in my eyes, that was what God looked like. <laughs> And I always was confused how this, this man knew everybody. And then as I got older, I, I questioned, how could one person know everything and do everything for everyone? And I think what really made me question it was death and sickness, because how could this all amazing, all good God give my mom cancer or create hurt for people? He's supposed to be good and he's supposed to be this one figure that we all look up to. When I think of spirituality, I think of forces bringing things together, but it's not just controlled by one person. I think of this like wind-like magical system that is picking things from here and picking things from there and putting it here. I think it helps me be more present and be in the moment because it makes me feel like I'm supposed to be somewhere when I am. <gasps> oh my god. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I feel so connected and inspired and excited and I learned I'm a combination of so many good things. Everyone should try and take the opportunity to draw their inner style because it teaches you something about yourself that you've probably never thought of as much before. I feel very much more human and less alone. <laughs>